Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Surviving Salford City. I'm Bood and as always, thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I also appreciate it when you smash the like button. So go and do it right now. It takes about 2 seconds. And I really appreciate my patrons if you want to become one. You can find a link to that down below in the description. I'd love you for that. Right then, episode 3 of the series where I am just the manager. The class of 92 not only own this club, they run it. Head of youth, technical directors, loan managers. Uh, they're in charge of players coming in and out, staff coming in and out. I just have to get a tactic, work with the players I've got and try and be successful. Uh, last season, we just about were successful. It was okay. Can't lie. It was not bad. We got to a cup final and we lost. But we've been promoted. So but we're in a new, you know, a new division. New quality of players we're going to be coming up against. Big teams. I didn't know what kind of squad I was going to have. I was going to have to maybe change the tactic. All depends on what Nicky Book decides. So let's find out. And this is where we find ourselves in Skybet League 1. This club is on the rapid rise. And I've just got to stay on the board. I've got to stay on the ship. I've not got to fall off and drown. Because they want to get to the top. And if you're not good enough as a player or coach or manager, they will get rid of you. They are ruthless. Um, so, you know, the pressure's on. There's some big teams in this league. Some really good historic quality teams. Coventry. If you've been a fan of my channel for a while, you know, I've got a bit of love for Coventry now. I've got Ipswich, Portsmouth, Luton, Sunderland, Blackpool, Bristol, Wimbledon. Oh my God. It's going to be tough. And normally I'd be buzzing. I'd be, you know, I'd have been scouting. Looking for players I can bring in. Trying to improve my staff. But I can't do any of that, can I? Now at this moment in time, we have actually made three signings, but... The club makes more. Nicky Butt gets busy. So I think I might wait till the point where he's done all his signings and I'll show you them all in one go. Um, so he has made a couple at the minute. Uh, and the bookies team will be 15. Which is fine with the squad I've got right now. But the club have got hopes of reaching the playoffs. So Nicky Butt better get busy. I've never done anything like this. So I keep thinking to myself, you know, if you know, the pressure's on here and they give me crap players, is that really my fault? Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, I'm sure Nicky Butt as an owner. Won't put the blame on himself. So, yeah, we'll see what he does in the transfer market. So, yeah, Sky Bet League 1. Reach the playoffs. Let's wait and see. Uh, Emirates FA Cup, third round. Bloody hell. Uh, Carabao Cup, second round. Um, we've got Sunderland in that. In the first round. And Elysian.com, which is the final we lost against Portsmouth. I think, um, yeah, we beat uh, Rotherham. At the time, I think Rotherham were top of the league. We beat them in the semis, didn't we? And then we got beat off Portsmouth in the final at Wembley. Gutted. Now, the club's invested some cash. Now, we don't make a lot. and We lost a lot as the season progressed last year because of our high wage bill. But, I mean, Nicky Butt's got something to work with. Got £16 million in the bank. They've pumped some money in. Uh, £4 million to spend. We've got loads of room in the bloody wages. Loads of room. Now, we had pretty good staff last year. The staff's still good this year. Um, they've not done anything with it yet. So, we're going to have to wait and see what they do. Um, because I think this is up to the technical director to sort my staff out. And I'm pretty sure that is Mr. Ryan Giggs. Who, by the way, is a very busy man. He is a director at Salford. So, he's on the board. He's got business decisions. A decisions, a decisions. Couldn't get that out to make. He's also the technical director. So, he's in charge of all the staff bringing him in and out and so on. But he's still Wales manager. So he's still got to manage Wales. So that's quite interesting. So yeah, this is the guy that hopefully will improve my coaching team for me because I love coaches. Now we haven't got any new affiliates. Uh, we've still got the old ones. We've still got Berry, who are a senior affiliate. And I keep meaning to maybe get rid of that. But I feel tight on him. Even though we are the bigger club now, which is weird. Um, and obviously we've got Spurs. They did that deal last year. And then Nicky brought in a couple of decent players, actually, on loan from Spurs. So we might do that again. But who has he brought in? Who's he let go? Well, with the season about to start, and um, pre-season's done, we'll have a look at that in a minute. We've got one deal here that hasn't fully gone through yet. They're talking over the contracts. He's finishing off the final little details. And it is George Marsh, who looks like a pretty decent young player. Don't know too much about him, but we're trying to loan him for the whole season. And these are all the deals that he's done, and he's done quite a few. He's brought in quite a few players, some names you should know, some names you may, maybe don't. Uh, he spent 6.25 million, which 
I'm pretty happy with, I can't lie. Uh, he's let four players go. He's already brought in two players on loan from Spurs, so we're getting another one. So that link is pretty handy. We have Jafet Tanganga. Great name. Loads of potential. Centre half, you can cover at full back. I like him. Dennis Kirkin, who unfortunately don't have a face, but has some game. Left back, all round game. Now, that was it for the loans. These are players we've signed. There are players. I'm going to first saw it in my news feed that we were talking to Sam Walker. I had a flashback to the other episode a while back when I was talking about my friend Sean, his little brother Sam, who plays for Stockport. I'm thinking, we're bringing Sam Walker back to Salford? No. It's a different Sam Walker. He is a goalkeeper from Reading. Played for Colchester as well. Um, and he, he looks okay. 28 years old. The King is not dead. He's here in Salford. Elvis is back. He's Ugandan. He's 21. He's a right back. He can't tackle. Can't do a lot, really. He can make a cup of tea. That's about it. Nicky also decided to bring in another right back. This one's a bit more handy. I like this. This is a good deal, I think. Reese Bennett, centre half, wing back, right back, can cover in midfield. And if you're really desperate, at left back. So, yeah, not bad. Next, we have Jimmy Skalak, 28 year old Czech guy who's played a few teams. Looks like he's been back home, played for Millwall. Can naturally play on the left and the right. He's right footed. Got some decent technical ability for the league win. So, yeah, great player. Great to have a player who can cover on both wings. Next, Nicky Butters brought in a defensive midfielder who can cover in the centre. Quite like this. He's 33 years old and it is Bradley Johnson going from Blackburn. He's played for the mighty Derby County and he still looks decent. I think he should be a good player, especially this season. Next, another defensive midfielder who's got loads of ability. 25 years old, George Evans. Quite like this guy. Secundo Volante. Would have been good in my old tactic last year. Next up, it's James McLean, come from Stoke, played for West Brom. This guy is still pretty good. I remember when he first burst onto the scene, he, was, he had loads of potential. But great left winger, naturally left footed. Got a bit of aggression, but quite like that. Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with this one. I was happy. Another midfielder, Jake Fulton, 26-year-old uh, from Swansea, played for Wigan as well. Again, a good player. It's just, again, I just don't know if Nicky Butt or the computer Nicky Butt. Did he just buy willy-nilly? Or is he thinking about the squad? That's what to me though, isn't it? To find that balance and have a look with the players at the end and see what I can do. It's not over yet because we've brought in another striker who I quite like. Obviously, we've got Rooney, who's good, and I think he'll still be good in this at this level, um, stepping up a level. He was good last year, um, but I think after Rooney, I was maybe lacking. Uh, and we brought in Lewis Malt. Or Malt is 28 years old. He's not the quickest, but I like his finishing. I like his off the ball, his composure. Last but not least, our biggest purchase at 1.4 million is Connor Shognessy. Shognessy. I'm saying that completely wrong. Another central midfielder. Played for Burton Arts. Yeah. Covering defensive midfield. 1.4 million, Nicky. I think they've had you off, mate. So, you know, he's brought in a strike. He's brought in a few wingers. Lots of central uh, midfielders. A few defenders. And a goalkeeper. And we needed that goalkeeper, by the way. So Sam Walker is actually going to be our starter. Uh, and this is the squad. You can see the depth we've got. Um, I mean, anyone I don't fancy, even if the club isn't going to sell them, I'm dumping them, I'm dumping them down to the reserves. That's all I can do, really. Um, it's not up to me, is it? So we've got Sam Walker in net. I think the back four looks decent with Eastman and the new guy here. Uh, the full backs are looking strong as well. So as long as success is always built on defence, isn't it? And I think that looks good to me. Uh, if we move forward as well, I think we're looking all right. So maybe, you know, he's done okay. We've still got Andrade, who looks like he's going to be a good right winger in this league. We've got a good left winger. We've got good strikers, especially with Rooney. And we're looking strong in the centre when it comes to star ratings. And that's all I'm going to go for now. Now, I've said this a million times. I'm no tactics guy. I'll either use someone else's or tweak someone else's. I'll put part of someone else's alike and maybe change it a little bit. But I never start from scratch. I'm not a guy who really cares about that. I find something I like and I'll use it. Um, so this is what I'm using again. It's been really good for me with Palermo in a top flight league with maybe lesser quality players. So we'll see what it can do here. And with Nicky's business almost done, obviously we've got players still in talks with us from Spurs to come on loan. Um, the bookies have bumped us right up with all that, which is really, really good. You know, we've spent some money for this division. I mean, total transfer spend is 7.2 million in the league. We have 6 million of it. Do you know what I mean? 
So that is pressure, you know, they're, they're pumping the money in. They're buying the Nicky Butts putting his players on a plate for me. I've got to do the business for now. A team training again. I don't do this, but I did read a great article the other day uh, about some, some from someone who is a tactical genius in the community. I'll put a link to it. Um, many of you probably know him, or you've read his stuff. He's great. It's the strikeless guy. He makes all them amazing tactics. You know, strikers. His knowledge of the game is amazing, but his thoughts on team training are exactly the same as me. He's in. He does individual training like I do, and, and he, he believes that players will just naturally progress anyway. He thinks the team training is a bit near. But he's wrote an article where he's actually give it a go. And it's quite interesting. I think I might have to use some of his methods. I'm not going to use them this season. But I might in the future, especially here with Salford. I will try and put a link to his article in the description. It's, it's worth a read because the guy, you know, he knows what he's talking about. So pre-season, you know, he's a, a mixed bag. We played two Premier League teams and got beat, which is fair enough. Uh, but we beat Bolton and Banbury. You know, is what it is. We, we played Spurs and it was on TV. A friendly... I know they're our affiliate, but on TV. Let's start with the Carabao Cup, though. And as you know, as you saw, hopefully, we had Sunderland. And we went there and we bad him. 3-1, great game. And we drew Preston. I was buzzing with this. At home to Preston, easily beatable. We, should, we could beat these. We didn't. We didn't turn up. One bit, we got... Yeah, we didn't deserve a thing. But of course, we're in the FA Cup. And they want us to get to the third round. But we're too low to get straight into the third round. We've got to get there. We start here at the first round, which I think everyone should do, in my opinion, like Germany. Um, and we got Barrow, battered them 3 0. And then we got quite an easy game, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Dover away, long trip, bloody hell. Uh, and we beat these 2 0. And then we've drawn in the third round, no one massive, no offence, but we've drawn Hemel Hempstead from the Vanarama National League South. I mean, that is some achievement for them. Like, a well, that is a top, top achievement for them. I mean, we probably played them at some point when we were down there. So, yeah. I was really happy because we could get to the fourth round, which I didn't expect. But if we also, if we get beat off these, <laughs> might as well sack me now. And the good thing about being at this level is you obviously don't have Europe or anything like that. We have a lot of competitions. Three domestic cups plus the league. There's a lot of games, really. But it's quite fun. And this is something, you know, I felt I'm pissed off about getting to the final. So if we get to the final last year, I want to get to the final again this year. And um, we've got Tottenham under 23s in our group, which are, you know, friends of ours. We topped the group, which is great. We lost one game. I'll show you the result. It is there against Scunny away. Um, but we did okay. We did enough. We've gone through, and that's great. I mean, like I said, I'd love to win it. I was sad about that. Coventry. I turned Coventry into a powerhouse, so it's quite weird seeing them being shit again. And we've drawn Blackpool in the next round of that. So, you know, a team... We're in the same league as them. They're eighth in the league, but where are we? Bucky's think we should be seventh. What do you reckon? Put your bets in now. And we're going up against the joint best defence in the league. So this is going to be some game. And this is only the third live com, third episode. And I don't think I've won one. I never tend to shit at live coms. Um, did I lose the first one? No, draw the first one, lost the last one. And this is probably going to be, this is the toughest. I'd say this is the toughest game so far, really. And there's not a lot in it going forward. We've got the joint second best attack. Only a goal off from Blackpool. Who we've got a face in the cup. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, and Barnsley just behind us. So yeah, it's going to be a, a great game. Hopefully we can put on a show. Away from home as well. We do have some good players though. Um, Rooney again is doing very well. We'll show you him in a minute. Uh, James McLean and Fulton uh, have come in. They've done really, really well. They're the only three players in like the top charts of average rating in the league. This is my squad, arranged by average rating. And it is, you know, you can see for yourself there, we've, we're doing okay. We've got a player up there, though, right back, who I know Nicky Butt tried to re sign. He rejected the contract. Again, it's out of my hands. Uh, and he's sort of one of my best players. Now, he's English, he's 26 years old, and I think he's a good player. And, you know, I'm surprised he didn't sign a new deal, but maybe he just don't want to play for us anymore. And he's going abroad. He's going to play for some like second division Belgian team. I can't wrap my head around this. But back to the squad, and this time I've arranged it by goals. And Rooney is joint leading goal scorer. I knew McLean would be good. And when I saw that deal go through, I was absolutely buzzing because I think he's a good player for this division. A very good player for this division. And he likes this tactic, likes playing as an inverted winger. He's scoring a lot of goals doing it, cutting in. He's doing a good job, Rooney. 
banging them goals in again. Andrade has been doing fantastic on the other wing as well. Club is still not trying to improve itself. I mean, it should do, shouldn't it? I mean, I know I could ask. I know, but I feel like that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I feel like if they really want to improve themselves, they will. Because you see it. The club makes that decision. They just don't make it as often as when you pester them. And I pester my board all the time. Every job I'm ever in, I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking. They get turned down, I'll wait a month. And I'll ask again. So, yeah, I've just got to be patient with it. These are the results of the league so far. And, uh, you know, they're not perfect. I mean, we've got a space here. We didn't win a game for five. So, you know, this, this league's tight. Anyone can take points off you. And, you know, your you places can fluctuate. It's just at this moment in time, we do find ourselves top, which makes us look good. But I don't think we're great, great. What it is, what it is. Um, Blackpool playing in the cup soonish. Uh, we've already played them. And we've already played Barnsley at home. Now, this was a nil-nil ball fest. They had a good few better players when it came to average rating. But when it came to the game itself, I just remember thinking, we should be winning this. How are we not winning it? Uh, I made lots of subs, trying to go for it. Nothing. But we are now undefeated in our last seven games winning what five drawing two so we are in good form i mean good form form don't mean shit really does it but before we get into anything i just want to show you the highlights of one game in particular and it is this shit show shower of shite game against portsmouth away at fratton park the team that beat us in the uh, leasing.com final at wembley last year and the reason is not just because well this would have made a great live coming away because Lots of goals, 4-4 four, four sounds very exciting, although it wasn't exciting for me. Lewis Malt in 22 minutes, then it was McLean in 32 minutes, then Malt again in 42, and then it was back to McLean, 47 minutes gone. We are 4-0 up, and we are coasting. Every shot we're shooting is going in the back of the net, and then all of a sudden, Ryan Cassidy, 56 minute makes it 4-1. Luke Garbutt makes it 4-2 at 61 minutes. Then, in 87 minutes, Ellis Harrison makes it 4-3 and I'm thinking, holy shit, we're going to just about do this, what we're doing. But no, it got worse. Ben freaking close, came close, didn't miss in the 92nd minute. Four, bastard, freaking four. So here we are with the match preview for today's game against Barnsley and they are the favourites with the bookies they are at home, although they have lost their last two games. 1-0 um, and 1-0, I think one was against Wickham, I can't remember who the other one was against, but I remember the Wiccan game. But yeah, so, you know, we go into this on farm, but again, that don't mean shit. Why do I feel a bit nervous? It's just a game of football, man. It's just a game of football. Let's go out there. Let's have some fun. Welcome to Oakwell, and these are today's teams. Uh, Rooney's starting up top. McLean, who can cover at left back, is happy to play at left back. He's such a good left winger, but it's a decision I've had to make just because of fitnesses and injuries to other players. Um... Yeah, and there's been a few other changes I didn't want. But I've just had to put the best team out there I could. Well, we're going to be playing in all blue, which I quite like. At Manchester United, I like it when um, we play in blue. Or oh, we have a blue kit, I really do like it. I always believe Manchester United should have the red home kit, white away kit, blue third kit. Oh, we go with... Oh. So yeah, I've got me return to work date. I think I start on June the 8th, Monday. Although I'm going to try and swap it already that day. Because it is the day we have our 20 week scan for our baby. It's the day we find out what sex our kid is. Oh, Rooney. Rooney, Rooney, it's disallowed you. Bellend. Apparently, Ronaldo was um, offside. But yeah, it's the day we find out what sex our baby is. And I'll be telling you, we don't keep any of that secrets. We want to know. And they just scored straight away. Jacob Brown. Oh, no, that's not disallowed, is it? Yeah, because we like, we like to know. So we can uh, think of a name because we're struggling. Thinking of one, but it's exciting. Hopefully they'll let me in this time because at a 13 week scan because of coronavirus, I wasn't allowed in the hospital. I had to wait outside. And it's quite an important moment together to see your baby. And I've not seen him properly yet. Which is heartbreaking. Is Barnsley on the attack? You are joking. And we are probably gonna go 2-0 down. Gotta love it, haven't you? You've got to love it. Boom. Brilliant. We've gone from being uh I've just demanded more and that's hopefully helped him mentally gone from being in a split second one nil up and the game would have been different i mean that goal snatched off us and just conceding two quick goals right here we go we have got a free kick he's gonna hoof it forward can rooney go on to it one on one rooney mate rooney it's over the first half coming to an end nearly we've got 10 minutes i mean we're, we're, we're looking all right 
Really? Just not goals wise? Well, it's half time now, and yeah, we're getting beat 2 0, as you know. Although, stat wise, it's a pretty even game. I think we've got goals in us, although Rooney keeps switching his mentality on his own from motivated to anxious, motivated to anxious. He needs to get a grip. Do you know what I mean? Give him an ass kicking, let's see what happens. Well, there's nothing new with that. Give him an ass kicking aggressively, you get all greens. Not sure it'll do anything. I'm going to get to the 60 minute mark and I'll make my changes. Usual thing. I do the same thing usually over and over again. Um, it's just for them in it. I think if that goal was, hadn't have been disallowed in a different game, we could have built on it. Maybe the, the res went down and them two goals are quick. Giving away a penalty is stupid. And this game is crap. We've got Mult up top now for Rooney. Get him off. Uh, McLean's pushed up to the wing and I brought on Kirkin to play left back. He should be okay now. He won't fit enough to start, but he should finish the game out. Uh, and Johnson's coming in the middle, so all three changes. We're going for it. We're going to need a bit of a miracle. Probably won't happen. Do you know what I mean? We're going to blow our lead at the top. We had a chance here, boys. Do you know what I mean? Chance. But again, the club itself just want me to get to the playoffs. If I got automatic promotion this year, I'd be fine with that. Last year, I felt the pressure of wanting to, needing to win a title. Bloody hell. Um, this year, I don't. I just want to go up. I think that's the most important bit, really. So yeah, let me know in the comments how you all doing. Are you and your family all safe? Are you out of work? Are you furloughed? Are you going back to work? How are you feeling about it all? Um, and also, let me know what you're doing with your football manager. I love hearing about other people's saves. I find it really interesting. But here we go. Can we get back into it? Yes. It's not getting disallowed, is it? It's an own goal. Let's watch the replay on this one because I don't really know. He's headed, is he headed that back into his own goal? I thought Tanganga caught it, but he didn't. Okay, not long left. I've made a few changes. Pushed the lads up tactically. Um, gone a bit wider. And I told them to push forward as well with a shout out. I mean, we're going to need some kind of miracle to, to get an equaliser. But what a moment that would be. Eh? Come on, let's nick this ball and get him on the break. Come on, lads. Come on. You just never know a highlight like this. When it's dragged out, it could usually be a goal for Barnsley. Unless we can pinch it. No, we're not going to pinch it. They're going to put this game to bed. Bastard. Well, it's looking like we're getting beaten. It 3-1 against Barnsley, but they have a good team. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Hopefully, when I finally win a live con with you, it'll be a cup final or something good. Do you know what I mean? But here we go. Can we get a goal? Can we? Can we get back into it? Not with a head like that. 50p head. That's it. We have been beaten in today's title crunching game. And uh, although stat wise, we did all right. I just, you know, own goal. I just think that goal at the beginning could have changed everything, but it didn't. It didn't. And like I said, this is what can happen at any moment in this league. And we've dropped down to fifth. Uh, but obviously, we're only a point off the top. There are Luton, Donny, Portsmouth, and Barnsley are all joint top. So we're technically second. Which is insane. It shows you how competitive this league is. But again, we could drop down eight quite easily. Um, but hopefully we can bounce back from that. Disappointing. Honestly. But yeah, it's, it's a battle. And I can't wait to get stuck right into this again. So obviously going forward, we're out of the League Cup. Um, the FA Cup, I'd like to go on a decent run with that. I'm playing Hemel Hempstead next. Um, I might play that now actually. I might play a bit of this save right now. Before we do a bit of editing. Because I've got all day to sort it out. Um, and then, yeah, the league. It's about the league, in it? Leasing.com. I won't mind that again. I feel like I'd like to pay back, but it's tough to get to the final. I have to wait and see. And yeah, I think I'll just do what I'm going to do for the whole series is I'll hopefully wait for an important game or a good game at the end of the season. Maybe it'll be a playoff game. Maybe it'll be a cup final. Maybe it'll be a title decider. We'll wait and see, but we'll share it together. So there we have it. That is the end of episode three of Surviving Salford City, even though we got beat off Barnsley. Hopefully you enjoyed it enough to smash the like button and come back for episode 4. Let's see how we uh, finish off this season. Yeah, I, uh, I'm so frustrated. I just want to buy some players. I want to take over. I want to just say, right, you lot. Go. You go manage Wales. You go back to freaking Miami and leave me alone. But it's not the point, is it? That's not what this series is all about. So, go stick with it for now. And hopefully you're going to stick with it. And if you're bored and you need something else, go and watch me Palermo series hopefully the next episode of that will be out in a couple of days after this and don't forget me journeyman every saturday so thank you hope you're all well i hope you're all safe and happy for me and my family we wish you all the best i'm booed i'll see you next time